Hello students and welcome to day 11 of the Who's Your One Challenge. Today our topic is about tell about the all-powerful one. So we're in Mark chapter 2 verses 1 through 12 today. I'll go ahead and read the verses and then we'll pray and we'll go over your action for today. So Mark chapter 2 verses 1 through 12. If you have your Bibles, please read with me. When he entered Capernaum again after some days, it was reported that he was home. So many people gathered together that there was no more room, not even in the doorway, and he was speaking the word to them. They came to him bringing a paralytic, carried by four of them. Since they were not able to bring him in to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him, and after digging through it, they lowered them the mat on which the paralytic was lying. Seeing their faith, Jesus told the paralytic, paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. But some of the scribes were sitting there questioning in their hearts, Why does he speak like this? He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Right away, Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were thinking like this within themselves and said to them, why are you thinking these things in your heart? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up, take your mat, and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he told the paralytic, I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home. Immediately, he got up, took the mat, and went out in front of everyone. As a result, they were astounded and gave the glory to God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. Have you ever heard that saying, actions speak louder than words? If someone tells me they can do something, I kind of want to see it. I'm just curious that way. Now, Jesus faced this challenge all the time. So, unlike us, though, he's able to back up what he promises. And in Mark 2, we hear about the man being dropped from the roof in front of Jesus because it was so crowded. And Jesus knew that it was most important to heal his soul first. And that's what he concentrated on. So he forgave his sins. Now, then to prove that he could heal, he then healed his body and he got up, took his mat and walked. Many times... Uh, people believe that uh, if someone sinned, that's what caused whatever was wrong with them. That wasn't um, maybe the case here, but because people believed in it, they thought if he can heal his sin, why is he not able to walk still? But so that they would believe, Jesus made it so that he could get up and walk. Now, God is truly all-powerful, and if he makes a promise, he can keep it. So today we're going to pray for the our all-powerful God to open up the heart of the one you're praying for and um, so that they will receive him and ask forgiveness for their sins. And then I'm going to give you your action for today. So will you pray with me? Our most gracious Heavenly Father, I pray that the one that we're praying for, that person I'm praying for, that person that these person, uh, these students are praying for, that you will open up their hearts, dear Lord, to receive your gift of salvation. I pray that they will ask forgiveness, recognizing they need forgiveness, and that they'll ask for, give, for forgiveness and receive that gift, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Your action for today? Write down several, several ways that God has shown his power to you. Know that when you share the truth about Jesus to your one, that you are sharing about a God that is all-powerful, that can do anything that he promises. And one of those things is bringing your one to know Jesus. That's all for tonight, folks. I'll see you tomorrow.